Tonight is July the 12th, 2015, and uh, I just had to show you one more time this amplifier that I built it not too long ago and posted. It's a, a 3 400 or a 3 500 Z, whatever uh, tubes you choose to plug in there. I have uh, posted videos on this with four of them, as a matter of fact. But I just removed the amplifier chassis right here out of the power supply. I'm going to move it over to uh, my shop, my other shop, and I'm going to install that uh, 833A amplifier in it and start playing with it. But I just thought I, I just had to show this one once more. I think it, uh, it's really quite nice looking for what it's worth. Yeah, this is another little shop I have. Um, I have a bunch of other equipment over here. Here's an old uh, 535A oscilloscope. Well, it works. Works quite well. I don't use it very much. And uh, I have other hobbies over here in this area. And I have a lot of storage. I think it's always kind of interesting to see people's uh, stuff. So there you go. Here's an audio oscillator. And I think I made a YouTube video of some time ago. Here's something that you might find interesting that I have found very valuable. This is a 2 to 1 transformer. It's rated at 5 kVA. So I can take uh, 240 and step it down to 120. So that means I can have long runs of 240 volts. And then I can uh, put my 120 right at the... Uh, at the output of the transformer. It's actually an auto transformer. It's tapped or the other way around, however you want to do it. Here's a power supply I've had for many, many years where I can get uh, some uh, really serious current out of it, 40 amps continuous right there. Made some of the old surplus uh, transformers that were salvaged from White Sands Missile Range during those years. And then uh, just some of the chemicals and stuff. I do black powder shooting so I make my own black powder also. There's my potassium nitrate sulfur and and charcoal. But that's I'm not gonna make a video of that. That just uh, uh, probably would not turn out too good. Uh, too much controversy over that kind of stuff. So let me transport you now to the other shop and we will start playing with that 833 amplifier. Okay, now we're back at the other shop, and this is the uh, Mighty 833 audio amplifier, single-ended, triode. I'll, uh, I'll light it up here for you quickly, and I'll, then I'll pull the tube out and show you uh, what this thing looks like underneath a little bit. These components are just sitting here right now. This is a driver transformer I'm going to use. It's a one-to-one. -one. They call it 10K to 10K. It's push-pull plates to a, a single grid. I have a pair of them. They're here. Just exactly alike. I haven't decided yet on whether I'm going to use a 6J5 and a second 6J5 or maybe a 6V6. Or maybe push-pull 6SN7, since I have a push-pull transformer. Don't know yet. I'll decide in a minute. Or in a little while, not tonight, in a minute. Here's another one of those transformers. I painted this one black. The other one was brown, the one I just showed you. I have a match pair of these beauties. I use them because I have them, one. And secondly, I know that they can withstand more than 4,000 volts. These things are tough. They're also 10K. They have a turns ratio that will allow me to have somewhere between 8K and probably 12K primary to 4, 8, or 16 secondary. If you've watched my video on uh, Transformers, you'll understand that. And here's the beautiful 833, all lit up. Here's the top of the chassis. I'll, uh, I'm going to pull the tube out and show you underneath what I've done. It's actually so very simple. This is a switching power supply that's rated uh, from 10 volts to 15 volts at 30 amps. And I was afraid that it wouldn't go down to 10 volts, but it does indeed. It's, it's just perfect. It was like it was made for this amplifier. It'll go down to 9 volts or below. 
and uh, I can I can set the filament voltage dead on 10 volts. I've got the plate connector hooked up. I do not have the grid connector hooked up. Of course, there's no high voltage on it. Let me uh, turn it off, pull the tube. I'll turn it around. I'll show you underneath what I've done so far. Okay, here's the top of the chassis. This is the 833 uh, socket I ordered from uh, off of eBay. It's a Chinese made one. I recessed it. I think you could see a while ago that it'll give some airflow upward. I don't think I can do this with one hand. I'll try. I'll flip this thing over. Yeah, I can. Okay. There's the filament supply. I know that's cheating. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to make it work. You know, the filament wires. I've got it over to a 50 ohm pot. This still has some work to do, of course. i got to ground this. I'm probably going to ground this through a resistor to give it some cathode bias. Here's my hot wire hooked up to the uh, to the plate transformer. There's the high voltage coming in. Got a three volt um, circuit breaker, and here's my uh, AC input. That's pretty much it underneath. Let's turn it around here. On the back side, you see the. Uh, circuit breaker, the uh, AC input, and the high voltage connector. These lines that I put on here with a magic marker come right off with uh, lighter fluid. You can see where the uh, power supply is bolted in and where it has some breathing space. Okay, I've got a lot of ideas and I want to thank all of the YouTube viewers that have helped me. Here's one that has some uh, nice information in it. it. Has some beautiful pictures. It goes on and on and on. Then they show you some of uh, this and that. And he shows you how he gets his calculations. So th this is a nice one. Terry's DIY Tube Amp Pages. I appreciate that. Here's something that I find valuable. Uh, data sheet on it. You know, this thing was made for uh, AM radio transmitters. It'll put out 1,800 watts to or 2,750 watts for a pair of them. But it'll do like 1,800 watts. Here it is, 1,600 watts ICAS. That stands for Intermittent, Co Intermittent Commercial and Amateur Service. CCS stands for Continuous Commercial Service. Continuous Commercial Service, it'll put out 1,440 watts to the antenna. Or 1600 watts in ICAS and 4000 volts on the plate. But here's something that I think we can work with right here. Here's where the rubber meets the road at 3000 volts and minus 50 volts on the grid. See right there? We have a pretty linear characteristic curve. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run 3000 volts on it at minus 50 volts. Typical plate characteristics, well, we won't belabor that anymore. Uh, as far as drivers go, I think I just showed you I'm gonna I'm planning on using some 6J5s and or 6SN7s because I have lots of them. I must have 40 or 50 6SN7s. I don't have so many 6J5s, but this is a beauty. A Jan CRP 6J5WGT. Wow. 842. Was that thing made in 1942? Isn't that beautiful? And here's a metal one. A metal 6J5. So, we'll move onward. Uh, small glitch there as I ran out of memory and had to uh, make some corrections here. But uh, I used this power supply here so as not to have to use um, this big transformer here with... Uh, some bridge rectifiers, big stud mounted jobs on heat sinks. And then look at this guy right here. This is a, a choke. It was just going to become so heavy that I don't think I can move it around. So anyway, um, I'm going to keep moving. 
I don't think I'll get this thing tested tonight. I'm going to put it into this cabinet that I brought over. This is the one that uh, used to have the uh, four, the three dash four hundred Z's in it that I just took out, and uh, you know showed at the beginning. So I'm going to slide it in here. I'm going to use this power supply so I can get three thousand volts. Here's my high voltage, and um, here in the next two or three days or a week, I'll have this thing uh, doing something. I hope. Got to be careful. Got to stay alive. That's the most important thing. Uh, I, I have a lot of information here. I don't know if I can go through any of this or not. I don't know if any of this is particularly important. But anyway, that's what it is, and that's where I am. So I hope you're enjoying these uh, builds, and uh, I'm always uh, welcoming your comments and your thoughts and, and uh, uh, whatever you might uh, have to offer to uh, to this project because uh, it's pretty exotic. It's pretty much out there in space. There's the tube I just pulled out. I got a couple of these guys. So let's see how it turns out. Thanks for watching.